Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. I'm continuing the Blender to Unreal Basic Tutorial series. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering creating a high polygon mesh, which we'll use later on for creation of a game asset, uh, which we'll import into Unreal Engine 4. So, for today's tutorial, I decided I'm going to continue in the fashion of the previous tutorial, and I'll be starting a sculpt on a... Um, tentacle, a squid-like tentacle. So, and once you've opened Blender, just go into Orthographic view, we'll do from a top view. If you don't know which buttons I'm pushing, screencast keys are enabled, so you can see here at the bottom left which ones I'm pushing at that moment. I'm just going to add a... Whoa. Circle. No, no, I think for this, what I would want is I want to add a cone. Just going to get this a little bit taller. And select the hole. And then subdivide smooth. And then you see it does some kind of weirdness here. Um, that's that's okay. Everything doesn't look quite right. But um, it's, it's uh, part of my plan. And just to show you what you can do. So you go into transparent view and then you just start scaling these down a little bit. As we are creating a high polygon mesh, the, the size and the distance of the vertices don't really matter if they snap to grid or anything like that. So don't really. Uh, worry too much about that. I'll just carry on as such. Yeah, it looks okay. I'm going to go into the side view here, select the whole thing, and then scale it. But then you'll see if you do that. But I'm just going to scale on the y axis. I'm going to flatten it out. There you go. You push Z again, and you see that's what it looks like. Now, this is going to be the start of our sculpt. So, I'm going to go into sculpt mode over here, enable dynamic topology. I'm going to set my detail to 6 pixels, subdivide collapse, and relative detail should be fine. And you'll notice that um, symmetrize here, symmetry should still be enabled on the x-axis and we can start sculpting see the second you start sculpting all these funny details or these things that look terrible are starting to kind of fade away for now i'm just going to add in side details if you push f you can increase your brush size And also notice because the detail is on um, dynamic topology is relative, um, the closer you get, the more detail it would put in. So the further you are away, the less detail it actually puts in. So it all depends on what you want to create on that specific point. Okay. That looks all right. I'm going for a very um, weird tentacle look. As of any um, model, if you if you take on a project, um, the best would be to work on some concept of art or just some some rough ideas beforehand. I did have some ideas, but um, I in general prefer just to jump into it and then uh, see where it takes me because I always get a, a bit more ideas uh, down the line. I don't recommend that for big projects of course but uh, for anything as small as this it's, uh, it should be fine. You won't uh, run into too many problems. Okay, Let's just move everything out. Okay. 
to see what it looks like on this side. I'm going to add a bit more detail there. It does look a little bit on the big side, so I'm just going to go back into object mode. I'm going to scale it on the X axis. It looks a little bit better, but and go back into sculpt mode. Just notice one thing: every time you go in and out of sculpt mode, you'll see that dynamic topology disables. So if you start sculpting away and you notice that no more detail is getting added to your model, then it would be for that particular reason. Okay, smoothing everything out. All right, that looks good so far. All right, I'm just going to do a brief pause in this video while I save, just in case I make any mistakes. I'm going to create a new folder for this, which will be our tentacle sculpt. And this is just the start of our model as is. So, all right, let me just continue on with the sculpt. So at the current moment, I'm just going to smooth everything out. I just want to make sure that everything looks okay. And then starting from here, I'm going to start with the suction cups. Now, you might want to increase your detail here. Now, it all really depends on what your machine can handle. Um, with, with every level that it goes, it's a bit more detail that gets added on. So, I'm using the basic inflate brush, this inflating area, and then holding control, it deflates an area. So I'll do that for the basics and then I'm going to use the crease brush a little bit later to add in a bit more details. Okay. I don't want that one to like such. I'm just going to and this is all basically just trial and error. Might want to go into side view here. Uh, just split off a screen. Just so I can see if I'm actually just getting the proportions right. You can see I didn't really get those ones uh, roughly the same size. And then you're just basically going to carry on fleshing out your model. Alright, I might just time lapse this a little bit because um, it is a very tedious uh, process. Just a few brushes that I want to show you that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the crease brush, but not its default. I will hold in control. And then you see it will give it a little bit more of a edge outwards. So, yeah. So I'm just going to do, I think I'm just going to do a time lapse of this because I just gave you the basics um, on how to just get this started. 
The rest is all up to you uh, what you want to add. You can add a crease in here to get like a little bit of a, a side going. Um, so it all really depends on how you want your tentacle to look. Uh, at the current moment, uh, I'm, I'm, might, I'm a little bit scared of that this might take a bit too long. Uh, for I want to keep my tutorials a little bit short, so I'm just going to cut off here and then I'll join back up with you guys as soon as I'm done. All right, that's my model pretty much done. As, as you can see, sculpting is just a trial and error process. It's uh, nothing much to teach you about this. It's just keep on doing it until you find something that you like. Uh, at the current moment, I do believe that my model is 99% done. I might just tweak it a little bit while I'm still... Um, editing this video just smooth out some edges and um, then I'm going to proceed with the next video on how to create a low polygon mesh from this high polygon mesh and then uh, we're going to start with some UV mapping and texturing um, if you like what you saw please leave a like and a comment down below subscribe to this channel and then I'll see all of you in the next video thank you all very much for watching Alright, bye-bye.